It's a job that most people don't know about, one that requires teamwork, skill, accuracy, and precise measurements, as a specialized group of shipbuilders come together just after sunset and work into the wee hours of the morning to avoid the heat as they take on the monumental and time-consuming process of laying the foundation on what will become EMALS, or the Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch Systems, on the second four-class aircraft carrier, John F. Kennedy, CVN-79. Yeah, so we're up here on CAT-2 on CVN-79, and we're doing the uh, dead man setups to uh, build the catapults. Uh, this is waterborne alignment. Um, it's a crucial step to uh, set the footstools and the clevises. That's where the uh, motor modules lock into. Uh, the motor modules set down onto the footstools and then the uh, lateral support beams tie the clevises and the motor modules together. That makes up EMOL. It's the very beginning of it. Um, this is one of the most crucial steps. Um, this sets all your alignment for your slot and your gap. So without this, you know, you can't keep 360 feet straight. That's why we have to do it at night. You gotta have three hours from sunset before you can start taking uh, coefficients and taking uh, temperatures. You know, the catapult's a living, breathing dragon. So you gotta do it at night so that way it stays all nice and straight. This is a Faro laser tracker. This is actually one of the newest trackers that we have. Yeah, it has to be accurate. We usually try not to let this instrument move more than five thousandths of an inch while we're surveying. E24 provides us data based on our survey of the empty trough of where to set those permanent monuments on the dead man. We uh, put that ball where it's supposed to be and we try and match it to the number that they give us. And we have 43 move the wrenches and just line that up to where it needs to be. Oh yes, it's very tedious. Um, it's very hands-on, but we got it under control. The dead man, um, it helps balance the clevises on the sides that you can see along the sides. Um, it helps get everything properly aligned. But when we do get the track in place, Everything just fits perfect. So once we do the initial setup, um, we take all the sizes, send it out to the machine shop to have the clevises cut on board. And then uh, after we're done with that, 068 drops back and they start surveying the rest of the clevises and the footstools to make sure everything is intolerant. Basically that laser, there's what's called an SMR and it has mirrors in it and it takes the center of that ball, basically triangulates that. So it's the azimuth of the tracker, how it spins, the distance that the laser travels and the, the zenith, the height. So it basically triangulates that point in space where we have the, that ball. Yeah, so this is cat number two. Next we'll go to cat number one and then we should be doing cat three and four at the same time. Uh, 29 setups per cat. So it's easily a month per cat just uh, doing the initial setup. So yes, it's, a, it's very hard, but we have a great team to help put it together. You know, I was on the Ford and I worked on the Ford for six and a half years. Um, it took everything that I learned from there as a hourly mechanic and uh, been trying to apply it to the Kennedy. You know, every night still is a challenge. Um, we've run into new issues and uh, you know, from last boat to this boat, it's not identical. Teaching my guys the quicker ways and uh, you know some of the new ways and technologies that we've learned to do things. So it's definitely made things a little bit quicker and easier. And I mean, it's very important what we do. From all the way down to the engine room to flight deck, everything we do is very crucial for the men and women, the sailors that uh, ride the ship. Still a long way to go, but a process these shipbuilders are committed to as their critical work helps to set the stage for the exciting dead load testing, which will take place in late 2021. For Focus NNS, I'm Aaron Pritchett. Back to you, Brian. All right, Aaron, it's great to see the progress on the Kennedy.